when I first got into programming, I was introduced to all these cool applications, different coding languages, syntax. These are the things that draw you into coding. They're the shiny bits that look impressive. But beyond that is the important stage, and that is problem solving. So this is the real fuel that actually grows your programming ability. And it's something I realized I needed to work on. But this is like a really easy thing to say, you know, it's not immediately obvious where do you actually start? How do I measure improving my problem solving ability? So what I did is I scurried around on the internet and I found a few solid steps that really helped me and that I really want to share with you. So first we'll start from kind of zero. Most beginners jump into writing code without really thinking deeply about the problem to begin with. And I'd say the way to develop this ability at its root is to really apply simple problem planning. And so I've made this mistake of jumping into code early so many times. It's like sprinting the first kind of 100 meters of a 400 meter race, only to burn out and then fumble over the finish line. It's not the best way to approach things to always jump into your code. And so you don't always have to overthink every problem, especially simple problems. But I think building the habit of just problem planning is really useful and valuable. So before you start a problem, just quickly ask yourself, you know, what are the inputs and outputs for this problem? Can I break this problem into smaller steps? Can I explain this problem in plain English? Have I seen something similar to this problem before? Can I apply a concept that I already know to this problem? That's it. That's all you really need, you know. And that's all I'd say for beginners as well, because you don't want to overanalyze when you're starting out. But I just think these simple steps and questions in your own mind can kind of set you on a path to writing better code because this is what real programmers do at a higher level. You really try and think through problems and try and find the best way to solve them. And so if you ever get stuck, just try stepping away and, and you know, and using, you know, pen and paper and write out the problem. Or you can use Excalidraw like I'm using now, which is a little bit more dynamic and fun if you want to use that. It sounds simple, but it really does work and it really helps you work through the problem calmly and logically. And now we've done that, it's really about using coding challenges to try and train your brain, that pure repetition. So if you want to improve your problem solving ability, you kind of need that consistent practice factor. And this is something I've also tried to do more and more of. And I've showcased a little bit in a few other my videos if you have a look at my channel. But sometimes you solve a problem with a particular piece of syntax and then you don't use it for a while and so that knowledge just starts to kind of fade and atrophy and of course you don't want to memorize every piece of syntax and function you know that's not useful either but i think you do really want to hone your uh, syntax ability and have it sharpened for when you want to solve a problem or like solve a new problem so I think the best way to reinforce this syntactical ability is with coding challenges. To get started, I think you can just use an LLM. So that would be ChatGPT, Gemini or Claude, and just ask it to test you with simple programming challenges, you know, that relate to the programming language that you're using in particular. Just ask it, you know, like, um, generate me a simple question relating to conditional statements, you know, generate me a simple question relating to using switch statements, generate me a simple question relating to uh, arrays, you know, uh, just simple things like that to get you going get you warmed up and then once you're kind of more comfortable then you can move on to platforms like maybe code wars this is more like a gamified platform to kind of level up your coding skills give you more kind of fleshed out challenges that scale up and then once you're a bit more confident with that you can move on to leak code and i'd say this is more kind of tilting you all towards more professional problems now where you're thinking about maybe technical interviews, improving your algorithmic thinking as well. So these problems can be filtered by difficulty level. And after you've finished a challenge, look at other people's solutions. Is there a cleaner way or faster way I can do this problem in a more efficient way? You can always learn from others and that's really valuable. And it will really kind of just accelerate your growth as well. And so ultimately these platforms are really useful and you know, a handy tool to develop your problem solving ability. And so since I mentioned AI, I also want to say that you can use AI as your second brain in some regard. I think AI isn't just a tool for providing code and giving you answers. That's not useful at all. You really want to treat it as this kind of mentor, this entity which can help you. And so what you can do is you can feed AI, say, your recent code that you've worked on, whether it's simple or complex, and really ask it to challenge your thought process. Why did you use this function? Why not this function instead? Why did you build it in this way? And then you can maybe ask it for some optimization tips. How can I make this more efficient? Should I use a different data structure? And then maybe you could ask it to generate a broken version of your code as well and ask it to walk through how you'd fix it. Tell the AI how you'd actually fix it step by step and what you'd do. And these things not only improve your ability to problem solve, but also 
articulate the problem as well to someone, whether you're just writing that or even just speaking it out loud, you know, the key really here is to treat AI as your mentor, not just an answer machine. It's just a waste of time. And so now you're at the stage really where you want to build projects that challenge you. So you can do all the coding challenges in the world and they're a vital component, but I think projects are still a really important piece to the puzzle. And this is because with projects, you face real obstacles. You face unexpected bugs, which you'll need to debug and think critically about. You'll need to think about your code structure. So you have to organize and refactor your logic properly, maybe improve a feature in a certain way so the code makes more sense. Or maybe just do feature implementation as well. You know, you're actually turning an idea that you have into a functional project, which is naturally going to give you problems. You need to think about how should this work? What should the user flow be? How would I interact with it? How should I structure it out? Again, these thinking patterns really just condition your mind to think more better and more fluidly about a problem. And so just pick a project that excites you, you know, you know, a small game, a personal tool, a website, just something that keeps you motivated and pushes your skill set. Maybe maybe also just solve a real problem in your own life. You know, that could be one that's experienced by your friends or your family. And the more you build, the sharper your problem solving ability will become. You know, it's a gradual process, but it really does pay off. So collectively, as I've kind of discussed this and learned it myself, you know, what it does, is it really shifts you into a new mindset. And so ultimately you realize that programming isn't just about memorization it's about purely knowing how to think distinguishing a problem gathering the tools to solve that problem practicing until it becomes second nature and the more you do this just the easier it becomes like anything in life and i'm still learning every day and trying to get better but that's the core root of the video really just try and improve as much as you can gradually growing and that's the core of it and so i hope this video has helped and i'll see you in the next one